hello guys welcome back to good show tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix star wars jd fallen order is having an issue with crashing issue it is not uh, launching or uh, it is freezing and stuttering stuck on loading screen black screen and even won't launch as well as low fps drop and all these kind of issues when you're trying to play the game and how we can fix this up so let's dive into this so the first one when you're having this issue all you need to do is you just have to go over here in the start click on this one and go for a restart and restart your pc as a basic step sometimes restarting a pc can fix a lot of issue so just try with a simple restart and that is what you have to try as the basic step this did work for many users you can try or start with a restart and if this is not working we have to move to the next one that is all about we need to verify integrity of game file for that we have to go over here in the game star wars jd fallen order right click and go to properties go to local file now from here click on verify integrity of game file so what happens is as you can see the game is around 51.5 gb so if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing all these kind of issues will be fixed by verify integrity of game file so you can try this step and this is definitely going to work out so just wait this is going to take a little bit of time so just wait for it so once you're done with this one once you will be able to see a uh, processing over here once after clicking on this one once it's been set into play once again try to play the game and that is going to work for you so here i'm not going to show this because we are downloading the resident evil 4 right now which is the most anticipated grain and uh, that's gonna take a lift down time so just uh i'm gonna skip this up just click on verify integrity of game file then try to play the game and that is going to work for you next one is all about we need to launch the game from the installation folder for that what we need to do is instead of launching the game from steam try to launch the game from the installation folder this did work out for many users and if you wanted to launch the game from the installation folder then we just need to click over here we have two method one we can navigate the installation folder from the steam another one is we can navigate to the installation folder from the file explorer so i'll show you the first one this one so first go to local disk c so here i'm be having only local disk c so over the game which will be downloaded and located in the local disk c i have to open this first now go to program file x86 keep scrolling down and navigate to steam folder now go to steam apps now from here go to common now from here we need to go to resident evil so, sorry not resident evil uh this one that is star wars we have to go to star wars the jd fallen order open this now from here we need to go to the main folder okay on this one okay over here as you can see the application so we just need to launch the game from here and that is what we need to do this is the first one what we need to do and this did work it so launch the game from here do not launch the game from steam so this is how we can do you can also navigate to the installation folder from the steam which is quite easy so just go to the game over here right click and go to properties now go to local file now click on browse so that is also redirecting you to the same installation folder if you check at the top this pc local disk c program file x86 steam steam apps common jd fallen order so from here you have to open this one go to binaries go to win64 over here will be able to see this one so this is how we can launch the game so this is the first uh, step you have to try out next one is all about we need to run the game as an administrator for running the game as an administrator we need to go to the installation folder so just right click over here go to properties go to local file click on browse you are redirected to this go to sw game go to binaries go to win64 over here you will be see, able to see the application so just select this one right click and go to show more options go to properties go to compatibility under the settings there is an option called run this program as an administrator so check this go for apply go for okay and try to play the game and that is going to work for you as well so for many users when they run the game as an administrator this need to work it so you can try this out if this is not working most probably you can move to the next step but there is one more step i would like to add this is actually a bonus step you can try this out this need to work it for many users so that's why i'm going to share you over here 
So all you need to do is you just need to click on this one once again, go to show more option, go to properties, go to compatibility. Over here, as you can see, under the run this program as an administrator at the top, there is compatibility mode. So just click on run this program in compatibility mode and change Windows 8 to Windows 7. So once you change this to Windows 7 and check on run this program in compatibility mode, just go for apply and go for OK and try to play the game. This trade worked for many users as well as for some users, the issue became more severe. Like if they had a crushing issue, they end up in a lot of issue. So if that is the case, you just need to uncheck this for that. Just right click over here, go to show more option, go to properties, go to compatibility and go to uncheck this and go for apply and go for OK. Only keep run this program as an administrator and go for OK and close this and try to play the game. And that is going to work for you as well. Next one is all about we need to change the Windows language to English if it is already been set into any other native language. For that, go over here in the search. Now from here, go to settings. Now go to time and language. Over here, go to language and region. Now from here, as you can see, you need to click on add language if the language is being set into any other native language of yours, for example. If you're from any other country like Chinese, Japanese, you know, Arabic, if you set this to any other kind of language, just click on add language and go for English. You can just search English, set this to English. And once it is done, just try to play the game. And also keep in mind, the country or region should be correct geography you have to select. So here I'm from India, so I have to select the India. Do not select USA or any other countries. So you have to set this up geographically correct. And also make sure and habit of che checking out the date and time. That time and time zone should be totally on. That means it should be correct. It should not be unchecked. It should be turned on. And once it is being set into the same, you just have to close this and you just have to go back and you need to try to play the game as well. And that is going to work for you as well. Next one is all about we need to launch the game using Alt and Tab. For that, just click on the tab over here. As you can see, the play button. While keeping this, keep in mind, you have to press Alt and Tab on the keyboard. That did work out for many users and you can try this out. So while clicking on the play button over here, just press Alt and Tab together on the keyboard and that is going to work for you as well. So try this out. That is going to work for you. Let's move to the next step. That is all about we need to delete the saved game file. For that, we need to go over here in the file explorer. Just go to this PC. Now from here, go to uh, documents. Now from here, you will be able to find uh, this one, Star Wars JD file and order. If you find any folder, just delete it. And keep in mind, you will be losing the progressions, but that is fine. This did work out for many users. You can just delete the folder and try to play the game game once again. That is going to work for you as well. Next one is all about, we need to allow the game to Windows security. For that reason, we have to go over here in the search. Just go to control panel. Now from here, click on Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here, go to Alone App or Feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here, you have to scroll down and navigate to Star Wars. So hence, it is an alphabet order. Just keep scrolling down to S and you will be able to find over here. So keep scrolling down a little bit and over here, just a little bit more. Over here, just you will be able to find Star Wars. Just check. Okay. So over here, we have not yet found the Star Wars. There is nothing over here. So we just need to add it manually. So for adding this manually, we just need to click on allow another app, go for browse, go to this PC, click on local DC, keep scrolling down and navigate to program file x86, keep scrolling down once again and navigate to steam folder over here. Just keep scrolling down, then go to steam apps once again. Now from here, go to common. Now from here, you just have to keep scrolling down and navigate to JD file and order as in a folder. Now from here, you have to go to SW game folder, go to binaries, go to win64. And over here, as you can see, this is the application. So just select the respective one from here, go for open and add it over here. As you can see, it is successfully added. So once the Star Wars JD file and order is added, make sure the private and public should be checked. And here it is only the private is unchecked. So you just have to check this as well. And once it is being set into this, just close everything, go back and try to play the game. And that is going to work for you as well. Next one is all about we need to unplug all the USB devices, which is an important step. So just remove everything from the USB devices. And if you're trying to play with the controllers, just do like this, just remove everything from the USB, uh, unplug everything from the USB devices. Once after that, just connect it back and launch the game and that is going to work for you. So if you're on the controllers, launch the game. After the game is launched successfully, just connect back the controllers and try to play the game and that is going to work for you like a magic and you can try this out definitely and that is going to work for you. Next one is all about, we need to roll back the drivers. 
that is an important step so i'll come to that there is few more steps to be done so once after that you can relate it so next one is all about we need to perform a clean boot for that we just need to go over here in the search go to system configuration and from here go to services now from here go to disable all and they might ask you for a restart if it is done so just go for a restart after restart is done just try to play the game and that is going to work for you as well so next one is all about we need to disable steam overlay as well as close or overlay applications so disabling the steam overlay we need to go over here select the game right click and go to properties now from here under general make sure this particular folder should be unchecked that is enable the steam overlay while in game should be unchecked and once it is done just try to play the game next one is closing overlay and overlay overclocking applications is an important step for that we need to go over here in the start right click and go to task manager now from here as you can see there are many things is running in the background which is draining out my lot of performance over here apps is draining out a lot of performance so what i have to do is i just need to go over here the first one comes with overlay applications so overlay applications are like discord you know uh, geoforce experience and all those things comes under discord so if you find discord over here just right click and go for end task and remove it from the background running so this is what you have to do when it comes to overlay applications but this is not an issue but the real uh, nightmare is when something is running for example overclocking applications like riva tuner msi afterburner and all those things if they are running in the background then definitely you're going to have a lot of nightmare so what you need to do is if you find anything over there just remove it from the startup background in the background process and once this been done you just have to close this and try to play the game and that is going to work for you next one is all about we need to run the game on dedicated graphics card for that we just need to go over here in the search and we need to go for graphics settings now from here over here as you can see i have already added all the games like you know but a trauma even the big ambitions and even the deep rock galactic everything is added so simultaneously on the same process the same way we need to add this as well for that just click on the browse now from here go to this pc open local disc c now keep scrolling down and navigate to program file x86 keep scrolling down once again to steam folder then i just have to go to steam apps i have to go to common now from here i have to find jd file and order now from here i have to go to st sw game go to binaries win64 and over here you just need to go for add and you have to add it over here as you can see once you add it just go to the options over here change this to let windows decide to high performance and go for save and try to play the game and that is going to work for you as well next one is all about we need to do is we need just to update the windows as well and we need to update the graphics card for that just go to the first over here in the search go to settings once again over here in the windows update just select this one and update the windows over here and that is going to work for you like a magic and this is what you have to do so make sure the windows is up to date or else you'll be having a lot of trouble because running a game like star wars you know we definitely need the windows to get up to date so that is that is what you have to try out and once it is done just close everything and you have to play the game as well next one is all about we need to update the graphics card for i'll be giving both the link in the description for for both nvidia as well as for the amd users so in the nvidia users you just you want to click on the link in the description that will take you to this page and you have to land over here now from here give all the details like the product type the product series according to your pc's configuration just have to give this one and the product should be selected and windows is in my case it is windows 11 now go for everything and go for start search and when you go for start search you'll be getting another page or be landing over here if you scroll down as you can see we have the latest version of graphics card that is 531.41 which is released on march 23 over here which means it is released on yesterday so you just have to download this one for the nvidia users you have to download this one so just download the latest version of graphics card from here for the nvidia the amd users they just have to go over here go to the graphics over here then just submit everything and now from here once you submit everything you'll be getting the folder so for windows 11 as well as for windows 10 as like you as you can see so if you're on windows 11 just click on this one and download this one and if you're on windows 10 you just have to download this one as well then install it and you have to try to play the game and that is going to work for you next step is all about we need to install microsoft visual c plus plus this street working for many users as i have just crossed it right now in the reddit and even in the steam community forum so for that you just need to click the link in the description that it will take you to this over here will be landing on this page and from here as you can see you have to download for x86 as well as for x64 so you just need to know what is your pc actually 
So I know in my case it is x64, the system type is x64. So if you don't know how to check it, so just go over here in the search and go to settings once again. Now from here you just need to go over here in the system at the top, keep scrolling down and navigate to about and over here you will be able to find the system type that is 64 bit operating system. So this is my 64 bit so I just have to close this and I have to go back and I just need to click on this one and I have to download this one and after that install and after that restart your PC and that is going to work for you as well. The next one is all about an important step that is all about we need to increase the virtual memory for that we just need to go over here in the search search for view advanced system setting now go to advanced go to settings once again go to advanced and go for change over here under the virtual memory uncheck the automatically managed paging file size for all the drivers should be unchecked once after that go to custom size go for initial size as well as maximum size and the initial size should be uh, we need to calculate it but for that we need to know what is our ram for that we just need to go to the settings and if you don't know how to check the ram go to system at the top keep scrolling down and navigate to about from here you will be able to understood that the installed ram is 32 gb so in my case it is 32 gb is my ram so i have to do the calculation based on this so i need a calculator so just go for a calculator so first type your ram that is in my case it is 32 gb and i have to multiply with a constant value that is 1024 it is actually a conversion value so that will give you 32768 so now I have to give the value for initial size. So that is I have to multiply it with three. That is 1.5. That is 49,152. So I just have to paste it over here. Now I have to go for the maximum size. So we need to calculate the maximum size once again. That is 32 GB is my RAM. So I have to multiply it with 1024. That gives you 32,768. Now I just have to multiply it with three. That's going to give me 98,304. So once this being set into this, I just have to paste it over here as well. And once the, you have given the respective value for the initial size as well as for the maximum size, just go for OK and restart your PC and try to play the game. That's going to work for you like a magic. And these are the possible workarounds that you can try out. There is one more thing, the last and the least one. After trying all these steps, if still it's not working for you, then what you need to do is just need to uninstall the game and you need to reinstall it back. That is what you have to try. For uninstalling the game, just click over here and go to manage over here. Just go to uninstall the game. And keep in mind when you're reinstalling it back, you should be installing it back not on the same local disk where it's already uninstalled so here in my case i'm having local disk c which is of one tv so i'm going to install it back on the same so that's not going to work for me uh, that's not going to work for me so what i have to do is when i'm uninstalling from the c then i'm reinstalling it back it should be on any other drive that means local disk d or whatever a new local disk should be selected or you should be having the trouble or there is no point of this step so these are the possible workarounds that you have to try out when you're having an issue with Star Wars Daily Fallen Order. And I hope this video is helpful. And if you have any doubts, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and do ask me in the comment section. So I'm going to get back to you. Also, I'll be providing a link in the description to our website, Get Troy Tips, where you can refer many more articles on the games. And you can do, uh, definitely have a worth watch for it. So that's all about it. I'll come back with a next video that is all about the Resident Evil 4, which is under the process in downloading. So see you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye-bye.